Okay, let's go. All right, hi guys. I'm excited um, that you guys are on tonight. Um, I didn't give a lot of warning <laughs> for this meeting, um, but uh, I had quite a few things that I wanted to chat about and um, just talk about as we're heading into a new month. And we came out of the summer and we're in fall, the full swing of fall. Um, and this is a really big seed planting season. It's a really big um, follow up season. And the momentum season, when you're really, really um, growing your teams, is right around the corner. Um, and so I want to make sure we are putting the right systems in place to. Um, get those people and hold on to those people and help them achieve, achieve success and help them troubleshoot and ask them the right questions and get them down the right path so that when um, you might fall into a more fast paced um, recruitment period, which ha tends to happen through around like December all the way through to like May or June, um, you will already have this under your belt and you'll know um, really good systems and really good questions to ask and you'll be fielding all these questions and putting all these processes in place, um, you know, without really putting too much thought into it, you'll be used to doing it. So um, I wanted to uh, kind of let everyone know how I do things um, as it relates to retention on your team. So keeping the people you have um, and also keeping them uh, successful and helping them stay on their products and helping them stay consistent and, and uh, understanding um, the highs and lows they might go through and, and uh, how to recruit people. Um, or kind of like onboard them, not really recruit, but, but onboard them um, appropriately so they have the right expectations um, so that they will be successful um, later on. So uh, the first thing I want to talk about tonight, um, which you might have heard about this before, but it's pre-qualifying customers and ambassadors. So I know it's exciting to sign up new ambassadors and we always want to grow our teams and, and sign ambassadors to our teams, but not everyone is meant to be an ambassador. They're really not. If it's somebody who is very hesitant to try the products, is um, not really ready to give it that solid 60 to 90 days of like the triplex and X Factor Plus or something like that, and they're kind of like, oh, let's see how this month goes kind of thing. Um, that is somebody who really, really, really needs to be a preferred customer because if you're going to start them on the triplex or slim and vital biome, for example, or something, um, and they're just um, trying it out, you might be shooting yourself in the foot when it comes to business building. Um, and I just noticed, if you see this, this is a temporary tattoo from my son for Halloween. <laughs> so sorry. Um, anyway, I just noticed that. But um, so you might be not setting yourself up solidly to have a good platform um, business if you're kind of not really pre-qualifying people as they're speaking with you. If they seem very hesitant and they're not um, all in to give it 60 to 90 days, um, the time span that our products really need, um, and if they're just trying it out, kind of dipping their toe into it, that person really, really needs to be a preferred customer. Even if they're getting the triplex, you guys, if they're pretty hesitant and um, they aren't somebody who wants, um, like is hesitant about the, like an auto shipment or something, or they're like, oh, I don't know, I'll, I'll try this and see if it works. Like if, if they're just trying it, um, that's like a clue that they should probably be a customer. Um, and obviously I always go preferred because they just get the discount and they can handle their, um, auto shipment however they please in their own online account. So, um, I kind of tell them that too. So I kind of shift people that way. And I've had some really great solid preferred customers, um, that have become awesome ambassadors later on three or four months down the line because they decided to, um, commit to it and they finally could make that jump to being an ambassador. And it was way more worth way more worthwhile for me um, as a leader of a team because I knew that they were committed and they weren't going to quit on me or be not consistent or whatever because they've already seen what the products can do and they've already decided and made the decision that they're going to commit. Um, and when you have those conversations with people, when you're sending them like pricing on the products or something, you really need to explain to them you probably will not see results within 30 days. These products are meant to balance the body slowly over time, working on balancing all of your systems. And we really always suggest people commit to giving them 60 to 90 days. And if you're ready for that, awesome. You should sign up as a wholesale ambassador and then give, the price, give them pricing that way. If they're not ready for that, explain to them that you can um, set them up in a different way that might be slightly more expensive, but it's um, not as much of a commitment for them. So, um, and, and I've had people tell me, okay, well, I think I'll go, you know, just be a customer for now or whatever. I've had people tell me that and I'm like, perfect, because I don't want them to join me, quit or give up or not be consistent or whatever 
um, or sign up without a convenience order or whatever. And then I kind of just screwed my business when I could have just had a great customer. So um, it's in your best interest to really pay attention to pre-qualifying people. Um, let's see, what's the next thing I want to say? Oh, so when an ambassador signs up under you, um, hopefully you all have um, kind of a script to go by. Hopefully you're speaking with them over the phone or you're live in some way. Um, some people I've walked through like live, like while I'm, you know, they're texting me and I'm like, okay, click here. They're like, great, I'm clicking here. And they sent me a screenshot and I'm like, okay, great, click here. You know, I've done that before, um, but hopefully you're either in person or on the phone or something like that. So you can really walk them through it. Um, always want to make sure they get a welcome pack, of course, um, and set up their convenience order properly. I have a lot of people, even right now, like in my back office, I can see newbies from last month who their convenience order is um, like slim. And it's like, well, that's not going to help you <laughs> um, next month. And, and when they're signing up, um, you want to make sure that they understand the importance of the convenience order. Um, and if they really don't, feel comfortable doing that again they should, should they should be a customer but I always emphasize it in saying that you know you want your products to come to you so you can be consistent and you want to take full advantage of that 60-day money-back guarantee you want to get two full months of products in to really judge whether these are going to work for your body and your um, specific health issues and goals or not um, so you really really want to be sure to get that um, turned on and and when they're signing up sometimes um, it can be a little confusing which thank goodness we're getting our new website soon um because it's going to be a much more seamless process but sometimes it can be confusing and it looks like they're clicking the same products like twice um in the sign up process now so i can understand how people might like skip that part if they're not being directed and walked through it if you're not on the phone with them or if you're not in there in person it's easy for them to skip over it because it very much looks like they're just they're like oh i already added that to my card i don't need to add that to my card again um so make sure you're walking them through it and explain to them um, that if they don't set it up, odds are they're going to fall off the wagon and not see results. And then their first month of products is going to go down the drain. Like their money's going to go down the drain for the first month of products because they kind of just shot themselves in the foot by not being consistent because you weren't setting up that convenience order um, right from the get go. So when I sign someone up, if what, something happens and for whatever reason their convenience order didn't get turned on, um, first of all, I always go check right when I get the email that somebody signed up, I go in my back office and I look that they purchased a welcome pack and their convenience order is on. It's the first thing I do. And so if it's not, I immediately will message them and say something like, hey, I just got the email that you're all signed up. I'm really excited for you. Um, one thing you wanna do, wanna do is go in and set up your convenience order for next month and tell them that you won't see huge results in the first month, so I don't want you to expect that. It's all about calibrating these products with your body, and you're gonna see results as things start to balance out in your second and third months. We always wanna set up people for success, and we wanna have their convenience order on so that your second month of products automatically comes to you so you can stick with that consistency, and you will take full advantage of that two month return policy, and you will get two full months of products in and in those 60 days and two full months of consistency to really see how these products are gonna work for you. And so I have a really good success rate sending a message like that to someone who happened to skip that part um, or whatever upon sign up. I've had, I've had people I've been on the phone with who said they're selecting a convenience order and ended up being off. So I get it, I get the frustration when you're trying to get people to sign up with a convenience order and to see the importance of that. So, but I always message them right away saying like, this is super important. And I always reiterate the 60 day money back guarantee because I don't, if they were hesitant about it, um, I don't want them uh, to feel like there's like a no way out kind of thing. Um, so I want them to get kind of all the products they can so they can stay consistent in that first um, 60 day window of time because we know um, what the products can do. And uh, if they are consistent for those first 60 to 90 days, we know that their results um, are going to be off the charts if they continue through the, you know, the six and eight month mark. Um, so that's something to think about. And, and I also um, say, this is how you do it. You know, go to your back office, send it into your back office, go to the shopping tab, convenience orders, um, set up your convenience order for your monthly products, which are the Triplex and X Factor Plus or whatever it is. Um, and you can customize that with whatever day you choose for um, next month. So you want to do that right away um, to make sure that you get those products next month. So, um, and you don't run out. 
And anyway, so um, you want to make sure you're doing that and that's a habit for you. So right when you get that email that you've signed someone up, you want to go to your back office, check if their convenience order is on. Um, if it is, awesome. Communicate with them that you notice that they signed up as well and their account looks is looking great. You're excited for them. Let them know that you will be sending them information on how to take their products. And you also want to let them know um, that you will be adding them to the um, secret Facebook team pages um, of your fellow Plexus wholesale ambassadors. That can be a community of support for them that, where they can find information and ask questions and search topics and things like that. Um, so I always let people know that and uh, be sure to always add people to the appropriate pages. Um, I know that it can be um, a lot of pages sometimes, so you can kind of use your discretion of what, where you want to add people. Um, I, for me, um, I add them to my page because I'm their sponsor. I add them to my sponsor's page, which is Cassie and Calrini. Um, and they're also, um, you know, if I wasn't a jewel, they would be my closest jewels. So I know that there's um, kind of a level of readership there, um, a level of experience there that I want them to see. And my closest diamond, which is Christine Weir, our closest diamond. So I add them to those pages to start out. Um, I don't like to add them to like six pages <laughs> right when they join. Um, and, and some people um, that are like maybe not barely, they're barely on Facebook or they're not really in tune with stuff. Sometimes I'll just add them to my page and maybe Cassie and Kyle's page, um, depending on, you know, their activity level and, and things like that. So um, I always make sure they have that support and they know where to find it and I welcome them onto those pages. Um, and have talked them through the convenience order thing. So they have their expectations set that nothing's happening this month. Your body is calibrating itself this month. It's getting used to the products. We're getting you used to a routine. We're getting you on a schedule. That kind of thing is happening in the first month. Um, don't expect results in the first month because that's not the game plan. <laughs> um, and also you want to make sure that uh, you follow these steps because if you don't, you're kind of hurting your own business and all that work you did to talk this person through what health issues they have and what products they can, you know, help them with and get them signed up. All that work is for nothing if they just fall off after the first month. So you want to be really, really sure that you have these good systems in place and have these things like habit for you every single time you sign a new person up. Um, then what I like to do um, when I'm sending them information on how to take their products, um, I will email, I email them. I don't know if everybody does that, but I like to email them. Um, so it's not like in a long string of information on Facebook, <laughs> Facebook messenger or a text message. Um, I like to have an email of how to take your products, um, a few tips, um, about whatever products they're taking and, and things I, I might know about them if they're taking medications or whatever. Um, we'll kind of let them know what might be different for them on their schedule, things like that. Um, but I also let them know like a snippet of detox. So, I let them know if they start feeling like headaches, bloating, diarrhea, constipation, et cetera, to tell me first, because that means we need to adjust your products to you, maybe slow down a little bit, maybe adjust the dosage a little bit, or your regimen when they're taking them in the day, um, whether it's helping them sleep or preventing them from sleep, whether it's making them be bloated after meals, if not, you know, move your bio cleanser around, stuff like that. So, um, I give them a little snippet of that so that if they start feeling those things in the first few days, which can happen, um, they know that it's like something to be expected. It's something common. It's something I've handled before. It's something that they can reach out to me about. Um, it's not something totally new that they're, that is some wild thing that they're experiencing. Um, totally expected. So plant that seed as well. Just a, a kind of a mini, like, this is what's up that might happen to you. Um, and I also kind of plant that seed again of like balancing your body is going to take time. Um, you know, I'm excited to see where the next two or three months might take you. Um, you know, our body, the cells in our body take about 90 days to regenerate and, and, um, really reformulate and multiply to be healthy cells again. So it's going to take that long to replenish the body's um, sources that have been depleted and it kind of fix and balance out some things at the bare minimum. Um, so, uh, I always keep that thought going. I always keep planting that seed that 60 to 90 days, some detox might happen to you. Tell me about it. Let's work through it. So you're not immediately having someone who's getting a negative experience and doesn't know what to do about it. Um, and that's already like setting you up for failure. <laughs> so, um, tonight's about retention. So we're talking about how to, how to keep people going and start them off strong. Um, and when I email them or Facebook message and whatever I'm talking to them or text them or whatever I'm doing, calling them. I always ask them what is their best method of contact? 
because not a lot of people, maybe you happen to um, Facebook message them or something and it was like on a whim and they happen to be sitting there. They might not check that all the time. A lot of people don't have Messenger on their phone. They only check it when they're at a desktop computer, for example, which might be rare for them. So if they say, you know what, I'd rather you texted me or I'd rather you emailed me. I always note that in my, uh, I use a planner, a paper planner. I'm sure you've seen that before. I use a paper planner organization system. Um, I note that which way they want to be contacted and then I continue contacting them in that method. Um, so I, which you, a lot of times it's email. A lot of people want to be emailed, um, which is great. So. I know that they told me that's their best method of, of contact. So um, if you got to do that or you're not going to hear from them. So, I mean, you might assume that they're on Facebook or something, but, but they're really not. A lot of people really aren't and they don't check it as often as we might. So um, I even have a couple people on Gchat, <laughs> which is funny. So I get on, um, you know, Gmail and do, do Gchat with a couple people. And, and so whatever it is for them, make sure you note that and you remember that and you contact them in that way that they have requested to be contacted. Um, I have a lot, mo a lot of people, I say most people tell me email, a lot of people give me their phone number so I can text them, um, which is, as we all know, super convenient, way easier than like a Facebook message, for example, that lives inside of another app. Um, a text message seems to be um, another popular one as well, in addition to email. So when you have people um, join your team, you walked them through it, you've set them up for success, you've told them what to expect, you told them how to take their products, gave them a snippet of you know what detox they might experience, you've got them on the team pages, all that stuff. Um, now, my next thing, um, like I note in my paper planner, I will go forward like five business days or something through, well, sometimes three or four business days, I follow up with them when they get their products to make sure that they received and understand the information that I sent them about how to take their products and they um, know how to take them correctly and how they might fit into their day. So do you think this is something you'll be able to do? Like when do you plan on like, have you drink your slim this morning or whatever? Or maybe if they got them, you know, they're gonna start tomorrow. Like, oh great, first thing tomorrow morning, drink your slim. I, I give them a tip, like I set a reminder to take my bio cleanse every day because um, I take it in the morning, that's just what I do. And I'm um, trying to find and so, children who oh, make <laughs> me. Um, and uh, anyway, so I might say like, this is what I do, like try this, you know, if you have a busy schedule, I know people have busy, um, crazy schedules. I have a lot of like nurses and things on my team that are like, I don't have a spare second in my day to be like checking stuff. So um, I'll check in with them when they get their products to make sure that they're clear on everything. And then I might check in with them after like the next day or so to be like, how'd you like slim? How's it going? Was that easy to fit into your day? Um, you know, did you like the taste, that kind of thing. Uh, and uh, how, and oh, and tell them about water intake. I always tell them about water intake when I'm telling them how to take their products. Um, about drinking half their body weight in ounces of water and how it's crucial to the su success um, of Plexus because if their body isn't properly hydrated and can't properly eliminate toxins, the products will not work. So if they're not drinking water, the products are not going to give them the results that they want. Um, and I consider it part of their product regimen. So that's part of the deal. You got to drink your water and you got to take your products appropriately. So, um, I check in at those first few days. And then after about a week, I ask them if they're finding a good schedule. Again, I give them tips, you know, set alarms or, um, if you can't take a bunch of stuff during the day because your hectic, busy schedule, move them to a morning and evening schedule, work that out with them. Um, or, you know, a lot of people, if they forget stuff like at bedtime, where do they do a nighttime routine? Is it in their kitchen? Is it in their bathroom? Is it something they do before? Do they read a book before bed? So whatever they do last, um, put a water bottle in your Kobayo 5 right there at that spot, right? So you're, it's right next to your toothbrush or it's right, whatever it is. Um, I can tell them that as well. Um, and, uh, I also will give them tips about drinking water if they need that, if that's something they struggle with, which most people do. Um, and a big one that I, I was not a great water drinker. Um, I tried <laughs> when I started, but, um, I was not a great water drinker when I started. So my tip for myself was that I would have like a big pint glass of of water and I would try to drink one of those at every meal and one, at least one before bed. So that was like minimum, at least I'm getting like 12 to 16 ounces at every meal plus before bed when I would take my products. So that was like minimum, minimum. And I would try to drink in between. I'd have a water bottle rolling in between. So at least at each meal and at bedtime, I'd have water. Um, 
and then just had a float or water bottle throughout the day. Um, that's something that worked for me because I would associate with concrete times in my day where I was eating or doing something. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of people have those bottles that they know this is a 25 ounce bottle. I have to drink this four times a day or whatever. So having them set up a system instead of just saying like, try to drink a lot of water <laughs> really helps them. Um, and mentally be cognizant of how much water they're drinking in ounces. Um, is really helpful. So, um, after that, I follow up with them usually between two and three weeks. Um, and, uh, I will kind of ask them, touch on everything we talked about last time. So whatever they were struggling, struggling with before, I, we will talk about it this time. If they're, you know, if that schedule is working for them, what they're experiencing, how their water drinking is going. Um, I will talk to them about their con convenience order, if it's on or how they're doing on products, um, because you want to make sure you get those and don't have a lapse in products. So um, turn that convenience order on, um, make sure that they have, you know, you kind of have them like take inventory of their products. Like, do you have enough? If, you're, if your convenience order is off, we need to get that turned on. Um, or if you don't have enough products to last you through the end of the month, like that's a problem. So we need to, you know, make sure we're putting in an order, all of that. And then I also ask them um, if there's anybody that they can think of who might like trying Plexus. And um, I, you know, I would love to help them out in helping a mom or a sister or a friend or even their husband or you know, whatever, a family, friend, family member, um, about how it might help them, um, as they've been on the team pages and maybe have seen some testimonials and some articles and things like that, that they might, it might jog their memory of people that they know. Um, and I also usually ask them now about, um, you know, can I help you with maybe posting something on Facebook that it could help you know, a friend or a family member who might like to try Plexus or might help them. Um, because just as they maybe came to me or they watched me, um, they might have a lot of people who are just sitting there kind of suffering in silence and, and, um, we could really help some people and also help them earn a little money to go towards their products. So I always, am kind of planting those seeds as well within the first month. And, um, a lot of people, will or they'll tell you about somebody who they are have been thinking of that it might help with. Um, like, oh, I, my husband has XYZ, I don't know, IBS and reflux or something and, and it might oh, it actually might help him or something. And, and so you end up um, kind of having them call to mind a few people. Um, and then I've got on the phone with some people done some three ways and um, anyway, that's another conversation, but that's kind of what happens at that follow up too, because if people get a customer or another ambassador, it also helps them have that accountability buddy and it helps them see that they're kind of earning a little bit of a paycheck and they'll stick around a little longer as well. Um, cause if people are earning money, they're not really going to go anywhere. <laughs> um, if they're going through detox, I celebrate it. So do not say, Oh, you know, this happens because of this and da, da, da. Be, get excited. These are all, this is like your body's like a war zone inside, right? Like these products are attacking the bad guys that are in there. And they are fighting them and getting rid of them. And those bad guys don't want to leave, right? That, that yeast overgrowth and those toxins do not want to leave. So they're fighting you back. Um, so it's a really, really good sign that positive changes are ha happening in the body. Um, their body is getting rid of these toxins. And it's very common um, to kind of feel worse before you feel better. Um, and a lot of people see an exaggeration of previous symptoms before they totally go away. They kind of do a little flare up um, a lot of the time. You know, some, some do, some don't, but um, it's totally common if that happens to people, um, especially if they have a, any type of more serious health issue or some diagnosis um, or something that they dealt with kind of all the time and, and maybe went away briefly. Um, they start plexus and it comes back all of a sudden. Um, I've had people with rashes and allergies and things all of a sudden flared up for like three weeks and then it went away. I'm like, just do it. Just give it the 60 days. Like promise me 60, 90 days. And, um, like we agreed upon with them. I'm like, do it. And they, it went away. So, and they feel amazing now and they're still in the products, things like that. So, um, I liken it to like when you go do a good workout and you're super, super sore the next day, that's how you know it was an awesome workout because you're building muscle and you're um, gaining flexibility and you're doing really great things for your body. It's the same kind of principle, right? You're, you're doing awesome things for your body. You're making positive changes, but it, it's a little bit of that, um, 
that uh, worse before it's better kind of thing or like the little bit of um, funkiness before the awesomeness. <laughs> so um, I, I kind of walk them through that. Um, and I'll adjust their regimen appropriately. Um, we will go through some troubleshooting tips here and a little bit of things that um, I've kind of learned. And, and if anybody on here has things that they, like troubleshooting tips that you've learned help people who have certain um, things happen to them, it's like always learning. I'm always, always, always learning things like that because I feel like every ambassador I have experiences something different and then we find a new way to work through it. So I kind of add that to my arsenal um, of ways to push through, push through things. But um, I do recommend, you know, searching team pages, ask your upline, all of that. If there are some things that they're experiencing, you don't know how to handle because most likely somebody has seen it before. Um, and you guys seem like you know that already, but um, you know, just don't forget that. Um, and uh, after they've been, you know, on the team for, you know, a couple months or so, um, I make sure I always am following up with them every few weeks to a month, because if you do not communicate with them, you will lose them. And they will be a great ambassador or customer, well, I guess ambassador at this point. Um, they'll be a great ambassador for three, four months. And you think smooth sailing, like I don't need to check in with them. Like they got, they're at max dosage. They're in the maintenance phase. Like they're feeling good. They're losing weight. Like awesome. I don't have to worry about them for a couple months. And then before you know it, you're like, oh, they stopped answering my messages and they turn off their convenience order and you haven't talked to them in two and a half months. So I know cause it's happened to me. <laughs> so don't let them fall through the cracks. Um, and always check in with people, even if it's about their personal life and not about Plexus. Um, comment on what's happening, what you, what you see in their life, or just check in with them about how they're doing. So you have your finger on the pulse of what's happening in their life right now. Um, because if you do that, they might alert you to, um, you know, something they're going through. Maybe they're going through a move or planning a wedding or whatever. Um, and they might give you a heads up to if they need to stop their products for whatever reason. So it's not a surprise to you, or it might be something you can help them work through. So it's not where they just don't know what to do and they turn off. Right. So always make sure you're getting contact with people every few weeks to a month um, and, uh, or more if necessary. Um, but that's when your planner comes in play. If, if you're a planner like me, um, I always have certain sections of my planner that are dedicated to seasoned ambassadors that I'm checking in with, um, even just about their personal life to make sure everything's going well and they're feeling well and all that. Um, and I always check in about um, what they're taking, when they're taking it, um, how their water drinking is going and how they're feeling. And, and, um, I always, I still ask that stuff. Um, even if it's been six, seven months and, or more, and, and I still have those conversations with people because their bodies are always changing or they'll fall off the wagon and they might need your little check-in motivation to get back on stuff like that. So, um, maybe they, you know, the holidays are going to be rough for them and they are traveling all over the place, but you checking in with them reminds them like, Oh yeah, I need to, order more and I need to really get back on the plexus train and make sure I have my diet in check or whatever. I need to pack my slim for that trip I'm going on or whatever. You're kind of another little alert for them, <clears throat> reminder for them. So, uh, an account accountability buddy, you are their first accountability buddy. So remember that. Um, anyway, so those are like how I follow up with people and kind of what I talk to them about. And then, um, some of the things as I check in with them that I might ask them and then I might troubleshoot with them through, I want to kind of mention a few of those as well. So, um, if someone isn't receiving, seeing the results that they want, and usually it's like in the first two months and you're like, give it more time. Um, the first thing I ask them is what are you taking? How much of it are you taking? When are you taking it? Um, and make sure their products are, be ta are being taken correctly. And you can also, um, like I alluded to earlier, you can also work with them on switching up times and stuff if something's difficult for them. Uh, if they're forgetting it, I ask, you know, what do you remember? Is it slim? Because if you can remember slim in the morning, worst case scenario, take everything in the morning with slim. Take your BioCleanse and ProBio5 and X Factor Plus, like all before breakfast. And that's, I mean, it's not ideal, but that's better than not taking them at all, right? I mean, it's, it's better to do that and get them in your system than it is to forget for days at a time. So um, you can really get people adjusting and not just giving up because they're forgetting and not feeling like helpless. So, and also when I'm asking about their water intake, I don't, I try not to ask, um, are you drinking your water? Are you drinking a lot of water? Are you getting your water in? I don't ask questions like that. 
be very direct. How much water are you drinking? How many water ounces of water are you drinking every day? Um, have them give you an amount because most of the time it's not enough. Um, or if it is enough, they usually know about how much it is because they're very in tune with what that number might be for them. So um, that's important. So you can kind of really gauge because someone will say, oh yeah, I drink a ton of water. Well, a 10 can mean if somebody that doesn't drink water, a 10 might be like three glasses a day, um, which isn't much, you know, and it clearly is not enough. So you really have them um, give you a quantity so you can tell what you're working with there because that is like a huge, huge, huge red flag that um, might be causing them to not see any results or not feel the way they want to feel. So um, there's that water drinking. Um, and then if they give you a symptom they're experiencing, ask them if they've ever had that before. So have you ever felt this way before? Has this ever happened before? Is this something you've experienced before? Because like we said earlier, detox can exaggerate symptoms early on. So if they have a rash in a certain area or they have swelling in a certain area or um, I don't know, they have intestinal issues or, or digestive problems or whatever, if something might and probably will, if they have a they really struggle with that, it'll probably flare up before it gets better. Um, and reiterate that, that, Yeast that's dying off um, might cause a resurfacing of these symptoms before your body works to heal it. Um, it's that war that's going on. It's that struggle. They're fighting back before the products can take over and level everything out. So you really have to uh, emphasize to them that it's worth, worth pushing through. And their life their experiences and feelings maybe before plexus were like not so great or mediocre and they don't really want to go back to that well if they can push through this their future after this with plexus is going to be so awesome and so great and so worth it and they're going to feel so good just give it the time that it needs so that's something that um is one of my go-to questions now um because people will say oh i you know i feel like my stomach is hurting or I'm getting headaches, whatever. And I'm like, well, you have, you, you get headaches? Like, have you gotten headaches before? And they're like, oh yeah. You know, I get them every few months. I get a headache or, you know, bad migraine or something. And, and, um, I'm like, okay, well, there you go. You're somebody who's prone to migraines and that's something that's flaring up. Um, and that's going to get worse before it gets better. And usually it passes in, in, um, a few days to a couple weeks. So, um, that's something to ask for sure. Um, I asked them, I, you got to get comfortable with this question. Ask them if they're pooping every day for real. If somebody's not having one to two bowel movements a day, you need to dial in that probiotic five and bio cleanse. So they are, because if those toxins are just sitting in their body, that's what's making them feel like junk. Those toxins need to get out. So get the probiotic five and bio cleanse dialed in. So they're going one to two times a day and make sure that water intake is very high. Um, ask what medications they're taking if um, you didn't discuss that before they signed up because that can be something um, that you really want to be aware of because some medications um, they need to be separated well you want to separate almost all medications from um, Luxus products unless you know otherwise but um, you really want to pay attention to when you're taking those um, and make sure that they have medications separate from Plexus products. So they know that um, they're taken separate times of day and they affect the body differently um, and things like that. And then as for medications, there's so many, I can't give you really like tips on which ones do what, because that's something that you can really research and look up and look on T pages and ask sponsors and, and use third party validation for that. So um, I love third party validation for medications because I'll, most of the time, somebody else in Plexus has taken the same or is taking the same medication that this person, this new person is taking. And you can find out what regimen worked for them and what happened to them at first and how it's affecting them now and how they stuck with the products and what they do with their regimen and stuff like that. Um, ask them about their diet. And um, people will lie about their diet <laughs> a lot. <laughs> they will say, oh, I'm trying to eat healthy. Like, well, everybody's trying to eat healthy. Like, what does that mean? You know, are you getting enough nutrients? Are you eating enough fruits and veggies? Are you eating a lot of carbs and sugar? Um, are you having dessert every night? Are you going out to eat a lot? Um, things like that uh, can really sabotage their results because they are going against everything Plexus is trying to do. Or if they're not eating enough protein, I know people that are trying to eat like restrict their calories. And I'm like, you're not eating enough. Like you need to get some fiber and some fruits and veggies and some good, really quality sources of protein because you're not giving your body what it needs. Um, you can't just eat like little snippets throughout the day. And, and it's funny because some people will say, well, I'm not, they, they'll have like a, a granola bar, right? And think it's better than eating like a donut. 
And I'm like, that granola bar is like a bar of sugar. Like, do you look at how much sugar is in granola bars? Like, unless you made it yourself, um, it probably isn't that healthy. <laughs> I mean, there's some exceptions, but um, <clears throat> things like that, people just don't realize. So you might ask what a typical breakfast, lunch, dinner is for them. Do they eat dessert at night? Are they drinking a lot of alcohol? Alcohol can really, really be a huge one, especially in the holidays. I mean, candida like feeds on alcohol. There's so much sugar in it um, and carbs and just so much glucose in, in alcohol. And so, um, especially in holiday season, um, people, you know, might feel like they're not eating much, but if they're drinking a lot, um, or even sugary beverages anyway, um, juices and things like that, um, can really screw them up too. So, um, that's a big one that people need to pay attention to. Um, and a lot of times I'll recommend other products depending on what their lifestyle is like. I'll say, you know, um, if you're struggling with inflammation, like they have issues in their body that they have, you know, tendonitis or IBS or, um, I don't know, anything in their body that has to do with inflammation or inflammatory things, Triplex is going to help because, you know, slim and all the whole gut health factor is really going to help the inflammation in their body, but add ease because they're, the Triplex is trying to work on what their body needs to attack. Most importantly, first, it's going to kind of like zero in on, on, solving a certain number of things first that are most pressing. And if they're looking for um, a certain pain to go away or weight loss or anxiety to diminish or whatever, um, that might be not be the number one thing that the triplex is going in to work on. So if it's an inflammation problem, if they have inflammation in their body, that's something they experience discomfort from that in um, any way, shape or form at ease, big time recommend that mood, stress related, um, definitely vital biome. Um, if they have a really sedentary lifestyle, um, or they aren't somebody who is a big exerciser or something like that, um, consider adding accelerator if they don't have like high blood pressure, they're not pregnant or nursing or anything, um, because that will help boost their metabolism a little bit. If they're not somebody, say if they work at a desk job and they drive to their job, sit there all day, drive back home and then sit some more, um, you know, the non-movement is not helping them their body function very well, right? Your body needs to be up and moving and, and, um, getting things going all the time and to have your metabolism boost. And when you be up and sweating and sweating is one of the ways you get rid of toxins in our body. So if they're experiencing detox, um, you know, exercise, <laughs> that's another thing. Um, so, uh, add accelerator if they don't have, um, like an active lifestyle anyway. Um, and if their diet doesn't seem ideal, um, I always, always first, say add X Factor or X Factor Plus. Usually I'm going with X Factor Plus now, but most people are not getting the nutrition that they need. Um, they're just not, they might be trying to. I mean, even the people that have the best diet in the world need some supplementation. And so it's going to speed up the results of the Triplex. Um, the people that um, are taking Triplex and X Factor Plus are seeing results earlier and faster and their detox isn't as severe because their body isn't lacking in so many nutrients. So that's one of the things that um, I usually recommend like from the get go, um, like before they even sign up. But, um, if it's later on, I will definitely recommend adding, um, X factor plus because that's something that everybody needs. <laughs> um, if they're feeling bloated and, um, that's like the, one of the most common symptoms, um, excuse me, if they weren't a big water drinker before and all of a sudden they're drinking a ton of water, their body was in like a period of drought pretty much. And they're going to, their body is going to soak up as much water as it can because it thinks it's not getting any more after this. And so initially it's going to bloat, bloat up with water and retain all of it before it realizes, Oh, this is a new normal and it levels it out. Um, but also taking bio cleanse between meals, um, making sure that they're doing that and not, um, just popping it like right after they eat dinner or something like weird. If they like, I mean, it's better to take it, take it, then forget it. I mean, it's better to just take it at a weird time than it is to forget it all day. But if they're seeing bloating throughout the day, take it really on an empty stomach between meals, like not 10 minutes after you ate, <laughs> like totally between meals, like an hour from your last meal and between your next one or whatever. Um, so that's a good one. And also taking ProBio 5 and BioCleanse at night can help some people as well. Um, cause you're taking them together. It, it lessens the detox a little bit. Um, because it's kind of counter, the bio cleanse is kind of counteracting the probio five a little bit in that respect. So that can um, lessen the symptoms that they're, that they're feeling. And, and a lot of times it's bloating is, is a big one. Um, I know that was something I, I went through in the beginning and I pushed through it and I feel awesome now, obviously, but, um, excuse me, I think my sneeze. Um, 
sorry, <laughs> I was going to sneeze. Um, anyway, so taking those together at night can be one thing. Um, if they're interested in like weight loss, make sure they're taking slim on an empty stomach and are waiting long enough to eat um, after it because you want to get that through the body unfiltered um, and let that um, really go through and detox the body and get the toxins out and get your body rolling and metabolism boosted before and anything else enters into the body. Um, not chugging it like alongside some like muffin or something in the morning on their way to work. <laughs> Make sure they're not doing that. Um, if they feel like they're constipated, um, sometimes, um, well, I, I didn't mention this before, uh, taking probiofive and biocleanse because constipation can go along with bloating. Probiofive and biocleanse together at night um, can try and combat that a little bit and like lessen that detox. Um, but sometimes what is a good thing to do, like if they don't listen to your instructions and they just read the bottle and it's like, take two bio cleanse twice a day between meals. And they're just like, boom, four bio cleanse. Sometimes that influx of magnesium can like really throw off your system. Like you think it, you, you think it would send everyone running to the bathroom. Um, but some people have the reverse effect because their body's like, what is this? It doesn't know what to do with it. And it holds everything in. Right. Um, and so go back to like one bio cleanse, like, be like, okay, let's dial it back. Like one bio cleanse, drink a ton of water, check their water intake, work up to two again, and just kind of roll back and start over again. If they are like super backed up. Um, cause that's something where they might have thrown too much in their system at the same time. Um, and it might be kind of interacting with the other stuff and your body's like, what's going on. Um, but again, if, if they're running to the bathroom, like way too much, slow down on probiotic bio cleanse, dial in when, like, when are they running to the bathroom? Like, is it an hour after they take three bio cleanse at 10 AM or what, you know, when does it happen? Um, try moving them to nighttime that maybe helps them just like go to the bathroom in the morning and that's better for them. And it's not a rush or, you know, whatever, just like work through that stuff with them. Um, and slow down on some stuff and really dial in, um, your regimen and uh, dosage. Um, if they're getting headaches, I noticed that a lot of the time it seems like it's from slim. Um, like a lot of people get headaches, right? Like in their first week. Um, a lot of times it's not really like a late onset detox thing for most people. I mean, some people might have it like halfway through the first month, but, um, it seems like it's a slim thing. So, um, dial in water intake big time, maybe cut down to half a packet of slim, um, or water it down. I know it's not like great advice cause you want to slim at the right ratio of water. Um, but maybe half a slim in the morning and half in the evening instead of all at one time if their headaches seem to be coming right after they drink slim. Um, but magnesium can really help with headaches. So sometimes if they are um, okay with increasing their bio cleanse, um, we might walk them through that really, really slowly. And, and headaches are one of those things that are usually gone in like two or three days. Um, if they're like something that's lasting more than a day, um, by the second or third day, their headache is gone. And so that's something that, um, really you can be like push through it push through it because it's so common i mean my husband was one of those people like i think the first few days he was like i have a headache today every single day he'd come up from work do you have a headache today i have a headache today i didn't know that that was when we started i would have started troubleshooting with him i had no idea what to tell him um he was not a good water drinker and we started really slow on the products i might have increased his bio cleanse and made sure he was drinking enough water and that probably would have helped um but i think his is gone after the third day and and we didn't even know what we were doing so <laughs> um Headaches are one of those things that are like really common. Headaches and bloating, I would say, are the two things I hear like all the time. And you can usually dial it in and they're gone in a couple of days. Um, if somebody comes back and says, oh, I haven't noticed any changes or I haven't, I don't feel any different. Um, first of all, narrow in what, what are they looking for? Like, what are they trying to see? Because sometimes there are results that they are seeing that they don't realize and that maybe you can kind of lead them down that path. I mean, how has your sleep been? Um, you know, are you feeling a little better throughout the day? Do you have, you have your afternoon cravings still? Um, I don't know, just kind of walking through those things. Like, do you have, um, pain anywhere? Like if there's somebody who had used to have knee pain or something, maybe it's getting a little better. Um, do you feel like you're eating less? Um, you know, whatever, just, you can kind of walk them through some questions. Um, because, people who say I haven't noticed anything are usually looking for like one specific thing that they haven't seen yet. And it goes back to that discussion of, of the products kind of zeroing in on what needs to happen first. And maybe they um, are looking for weight loss, but they have all these digestive problems and they're not very regular. Right? So maybe they're the triplex is saying, let's scrub clean those intestines first 
and we're not working on fat, le fat loss right now and weight loss. We are working on getting the intestines clear because they're, they're, you know, blocked and full of toxins and whatever. And so that's, like I said, this little war zone going inside their body and either they're, you know, not losing weight or they're gaining weight because their body's get, getting a little bloated from all the stuff happening. And they're like, what's going on? I haven't seen anything. So, um, you can kind of lead them down a path and try to, um, figure out things that are changing or, um, let them know what's happening internally and also use third party validation. Um, you can talk about so many people, me, myself included. I barely noticed anything. Um, I mean, I happened to be nursing at the time when I started. The only one thing I noticed, I remembered um, having like my, a milk, my milk supply increase. Um, and that was big. And if I had been a person that wasn't nursing, who knows if I would have felt anything. But I was like, this is enough to like, get me still going because that was very exciting to me as a nursing mom. Um, but it took me like three months to like realize some weight loss, right? Like it was like three to five months. And I was like, oh yeah, like I finally am like losing all this weight and it's awesome. So, um, it's something where my results were very slow, very slow onset. Mine and my husband's actually, and he had worse detox than, than I did. I didn't really have any detox symptoms, like nothing would, hopefully nothing ever comes back. But, um, um, you know, there's a lot of people who didn't experience a lot in the beginning and you really got to give it that, that, um, 60, 90 day window. Cause we all know that sweet spot is between three and six months. Like I swear for most people that I've seen three to six months is like where the magic happens. And so if you can get them to that point consistently, um, and work them through all these things and have them stick with it and keep them motivated and excited if, if, um, they're experiencing detox symptoms because so many toxins are being eliminated from their body. If you could do that, that's where your game is strong because that's where you want to keep people. Um, but I do always tell people stay off the scale. You're going to lose inches before you lose pounds. And, um, you might even um, see your body kind of like readjust itself a little bit, you know, like you might see inflammation go away in a certain area. Um, and you know, you might feel a little bit of bloating in one place, but you realize like your face is thinning out like, Oh great. Like inflammation is going down, but my gut is still funky cause I got some detox going on. And, and so your body is working on things. It's like, you really have to um, kind of walk them through that. Um, and some other tips, uh, I just like to, um, kind of mention, I don't know if I mentioned this a lot before. I really, really recommend trying to get everyone signed up with the triplex and X factor plus because X factor plus is going to speed their results. They will see them earlier and faster and they're getting, giving the body what it needs, um, to combat any deficiencies that might hinder their results. Um, and odds are after their first month, they won't need bio cleanse because they're starting slow. So if they're ordering another product, say Slim and ProBio 5 and X-Factor Plus, it still keeps them commission qualified. So instead of defaulting on just Triplex, I am going back to Triplex and X-Factor Plus because I know it is an incredible product that every single person needs because everyone has all these deficiencies and can benefit from that. And it has further gut health support. So it works, um, you know, hand in hand with the Triplex. So it's pretty awesome anyway. Um, but I know that for my business, it's a wise decision to, um, have them on a product that will help them be commission qualified for months to come. If they do have a surplus of, a, of another product. Um, and, uh, I've been seeing a lot of results, a lot of really good positive results with that too. I've been doing that kind of all summer with my new ambassadors and, and, uh, having really good retention rates with that. And, and it's been great because people are really seeing results like solid within their first month or two. Um, they're really feeling better and, and, uh, that's really great to see. So, um, anyway, that is the last thing that I had for you guys for tonight. Um, I will, oh, how many people are on here? Let's see. I don't know if I want to unmute everybody because I don't know if who has loud noise, <laughs> but, um, don't, okay, yeah, don't, I won't mute you. <laughs> um, I won't do that, but uh, if anybody has any questions, go ahead and type them in the chat box, or if I can see your face, you can raise your hand or something. Um, but, because I can't, I don't want to unmute, like, everybody and then have everybody be allowed. Um, but this is something, these troubleshooting tips are things that I've just learned through conversations with people, through videos I've watched, or YouTube things that I've had to learn because I looked up, um, you know, what symptom people had. Um, it's also great to look up information for people from, you know, a scholarly source, peer reviewed source. Um, if they're experiencing a certain symptom and like a certain rash or something, excuse me. And, um, you could show them and it's related to inflammation and it's a common detox symptom. Um, and it's something that will pass if they can, um, 
try to drink, you know, some lemon water that will help them go through detox or, or make sure they are eating well and have um, the right nutrients and things um, like that. So like, again, get the X Factor Plus going and, and stuff like that. So um, yeah, does anybody have any questions? Everybody's so quiet. We usually have so many. Well, I hope this was good for everybody. Um, and it was awesome and gave you some tips, um, to get going through the, um, next couple months as you'll, you'll see, it'll start to, um, pick up <laughs> at the end of the year into the beginning of next. It's going to be pretty crazy with the introduction of the new, um, back office and website and stuff. So I am excited and, um, I hope you guys all have a great night. I guess I, that's it. But thank you guys for coming on tonight. Um, I hope it was helpful and bye.